from the tube station in London. Lost bag, no clothes. One hour sleep, feeling awesome. But we're, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun regardless. I figured it out. The most optimistic estimate is that John will be in these clothes for 84 hours in a row. <laughs> okay, what says English pub more than Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? We're free falling. And so check this out. We're in the Prince of Wales pub and dining tavern pub. Listen, the Prince of Wales has never, never even heard of this place, much less been in here. We're in Heathrow Airport. It's been a rotten morning. So we got in later than expected. It took forever to get through customs. They lost my bag. Uh, which means I'm going to be wearing these clothes for, you know, a few weeks in a row. And then we tried to check our bags so that we could go out and do something. But you can't check the bag so early, with more than three hours before the flight. So we couldn't do anything. So then we went to a restaurant over at, what was the name of the hotel? Crown Plaza. Crown Plaza. But the restaurant was not open. So we um, fell asleep in the lobby for like an hour. Yeah. Jesse, that's really pathetic, you know that? And then we uh, then we came on through security and now we're in this pub. Yeah. So the only thing that we're going to do is... Wait, 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 wait. But this beer is pretty good. Fruity. Goodbye. One more thing, I'm about to take all my diabetic medication and chase it with beer. Let's, let's not tell Dr. Hambaris that I'm doing this, thank you. And Tanner, eat your heart out. I know it's not the full English, but it is the big brunch, which is containing many of the elements. Plus, you got the very cool HP sauce. I'll talk to you later. Gipperly Airport, Amsterdam. Good times. And when you lose your bag, you have to get an emergency search. No, not search. Shirt in the airport. For 70 euros. <gasps> Maybe I can expense this. <laughs> the plane is here, we think. Maybe. Denmark. Well, um, Alden was kind enough to pick us up tonight. He gave us a ride from the airport to the hotel, the Scandic Hotel, which this is a more modern American style hotel. Not completely American, but it's the amenities that you'd, you'd be used to in the United States. So it's a, it's a nice place here. It's uh, close to midnight and uh, we gotta be, go get cracking and be at work at eight in the morning. Even though Jesse and I have spent the night, well, we spent the past 24 hours, I think, traveling in airports, layovers, and everything. So we're tired. And I am taking a shower, and I am going to be washing my dirty clothes. I only have one pair of clothes right now. Hopefully it'll come tomorrow. But these clothes will be washed in the sink, which I hope is going to be okay. And uh, I bought a couple of shirts at the airport, and uh, life goes on. So, anyway, that's a report from Alberg, Denmark, the land of milk and honey, and bicycles. <laughs>